I'm Matt Seaman Matthew Marshall from Halifax, Nova Scotia. I'm a Naval Electronic Sensor Operator on board HMCS Fredericton. Naval Electronic Sensor Operators, or NESOPs, fill three key roles in modern naval warfare. Detection, identification, and engagement of the enemy. Five salvos, engage! As part of the ship's operations team, NESOPs zero in on enemy ships, submarines, and aircraft through sophisticated radar and electronic warfare systems. NESOPs can detect objects up to several hundred kilometers away and gather intelligence on everything above the sea so that the ship's captain and above-water warfare team can make well-informed warfighting decisions. Fighter jet, the bearing 090, range is 7,000 yards, closing. Gun ready. NESOPs are the first line of defense on a ship, and they fire the ship's weapons to defend it against potential threats from sea, air, or land. A system, shoot! We do everything from fingerprinting radars to fire control, gunnery, uh, missile shoots. Naval electronic sensor operators actively defend the ship from all threats on the water and in the air. That means operating radar jamming equipment, deploying rocket decoys to cause confusion, and firing weapon systems like the main 57mm Bofors gun, anti-air and anti-surface missiles, and the close-in weapon system, or SeaWiz. SeaWiz shoot! Firing the guns, working with missiles, blowing stuff up. I mean, there's nothing that feels better than training, 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 and then at the end of the day, seeing the results of your training. The Royal Canadian Navy commonly practices their skills in task groups with other nations, in war games that simulate realistic daily military scenarios and naval confrontations. Recommend launch, soft kill countermeasures, break! On board Canadian warships, NESOPs are the experts in radio and radar intercept, electronic warfare, and intelligence gathering. They may also have the opportunity to specialize as a shipborne air controller or operate unmanned aerial vehicles which extend the ship's surveillance capabilities. The atmosphere in the ops room can be pretty hectic at times. Air threat red, warning FBA! To the untrained eye, it might seem pretty chaotic, but uh, it's controlled chaos. Everyone has a job, everyone knows where to go, what to do, how to do it, and we practice through team training, simulated gunnery, simulated warfare exercises, in case anything were to actually happen. Missiles away! I love sitting down and doing the fire control aspect. Seeing those rounds go downrange, seeing the splash as it hits the target is uh, really exciting. My favorite system on board is hands down the Sea Whiz. There's nothing cooler than a chain gun that can shred basically anything coming towards you. After their training is completed, Naval Electronic Sensor Operators are posted to their first ship, either in Halifax, Nova Scotia, or just outside Victoria, BC, where they're employed as a Junior Electronic Support Measures Operator at sea. Junior NESOPs complete practical training to ensure they have the knowledge and skills necessary to meet the challenges at sea. They may deploy on exercise or domestic and international operations as a part of the above-water warfare team. Additional opportunities are readily available, such as being a ship's diver and being a member of a naval boarding party or a naval tactical operations group. A typical day at sea for any sailor can include practical experience and team training, such as simulated fire, flood, or medical emergencies called damage control that involve the entire ship's company. As sailors, NESOPs also have duties such as being a ship hand or on lookout. When not on duty, sailors have time to exercise and relax with colleagues. They eat their meals together, have personal access to internet and email, and communicate regularly with friends and family back home by satellite telephone. What better way to get out and see the world than join the Navy? I've never had a job that was so fulfilling as this one knowing that I made a difference at the end of the day, having a tangible result to all my hard work.